Thanks for coming and talking to us. No um, first of all, can, I, can you please describe to me what your role as honorary se se secretary entails? Yeah. Uh, Honorary Secretary is two main roles. They're the uh, the convener on, and minute taker of the Student Representative Council, mm -hmm. uh, which means it's me that sets up the agenda for councils and gets motions from our members and things like that. And, and I also minute the council and upload the minutes to our website. Uh, and second, the second main role is to chair the disciplinary panel. So if someone who's a student at Dundee or any of our reciprocal organisations, so other unis in Dundee College, uh, commit an offence, uh, get in a fight or whatever in the union, uh, it comes to me as a disciplinary panel, I have to chair that panel as an impartial advisor for both the panel members, which are student councillors, and the uh, accused. Okay, uh, so if you can think back to when you started this position two yeah, years two ago, years ago. Um, when you took it, was there anything that took you by surprise, any part of the job you weren't expecting? I think because I'm the sort of person that's like really diligent about preparing for things, I spoke with Brett, the guy who did it before me, as well as I knew Gary who did it before him. So I knew the basics of the, of the role. Perhaps the, some of the disciplinaries are quite surprising. And at times, for some reason, you get rushes of them. So you're a bit like, at the moment, I've got to, I've got to do two panels this week um, because there's so many. Uh, mainly it's just fights, but you do get some occasionally surprising to see some of the things that people get up to in the union. Could you give us some examples? Well, obviously, completely obviously I can't uh, yeah, speak about individuals, but uh, like you, the majority are simple, oh, someone got drunk and punched someone or whatever. But you do get people um, peeing in interesting places. And um, that's, that's the in, this, I mean, one of the f interesting ones that I've had. Okay. Um, could you qu um, please give us a quick um, recap of your policies on which you got elected this year? Yeah, that I got elected on this year. Um, better IT support for students. Uh, I focus on exams for that. Uh, uh, to upload SRC motions as well as who voted for them uh, after all the meetings and uh, an anonymous reporting system in the library. I always have struggle <laughs> remembering the three of them, but yeah. That's not, that's not a problem. Yeah. Uh, so the in increased communication between students, executive and the students was, is how it's worded on the, online. Um, you know, seeing as the exec Facebook page was shut down and Anne was like posted um, on the exec blog like, since November, yeah. like, how su successful do you feel that policy was implemented? How successfully? So that's the policy. Um, oh, sorry. No, that's not mine. Oh my god! Sorry, I read the wrong question. <laughs> I apologise. That's okay. Uh, no, um, the IT facilities. In the IT division. facilities. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so let's start. From, yeah, let's start fine. again. That policy. Yeah. Um, obviously, we all noticed that the e vision worked a lot better than this year than yeah. last year. We all got our exam results. Most of us, no problem at all. Yeah. Um, this was quite a change. Was it b b brought about by you or I know Andrew Jardino also yeah. had um, a similar yeah. policy. I, I think it's something the university knew that they had to work on. So I think they were probably working on it behind the scenes anyway. But uh, both myself and Andrew lobbied with the people who run eVision and I myself had a meeting with uh, Lorna Jones who was in charge of that uh, to make sure that uh, the system wouldn't crash during exam results, uh, which thankfully have. She assured me that they would get it fixed and it wouldn't crash, and as far as I'm aware, it didn't crash for anyone. Okay, fantastic. Um, also, I have, what kind of other progress have you made on improving IT facilities? Yeah, um, I was speaking with Lorna about trying to make eVision more user-friendly, because at the moment it's a bit iffy at best, it's a bit slow and it's doesn't look the prettiest thing in the world. Um, so perhaps some progress, will, hopefully some progress will be made on that before I leave office. Um, also working with the library in conjunction with the anonymous reporting system. Um, also stuff about how students will log into computers and then leave them for hours, meaning other computers people can't log on. We're trying to, along with the SRC, we're trying to make some progress there to try and think of some sort of system that makes sure that there's always IT facilities available for, for all students. Okay, is there any, what kind of progress is made on that? Is there any on that we're trying to, well it's been mentioned the possibility of having some sort of system where you're automatically logged out if there's been no action on the system for say an hour or something, but the feasibility of bringing that in we're not sure of yet. But it's, uh, we're, the ICS are coming to the next meeting of the SRC in March. Uh, and they're going to take s suggestions and questions from the students and hopefully out of that we'll get some sort of results on how not just me but the SRC councillors in general want to see IC, uh, IT uh, improve on campus. Okay. 
Um, you are also campaigning for an anonymous reporting system in the library. Could you tell us a little bit more about how um, this will work and how much progress you've made in that, yeah. in that area? Uh, it's taken a while to get work to get into place, uh, but I've had, I've had various meetings with people around the library and as of we're going to start a pilot scheme on the 25th of March running from then right through to the end of the exams where students will be able to text a number if they're in the library to complain about someone who's talking or being annoying or on Skype or something in the silent section mm -hmm. or even if there's something wrong in other sections uh, where that number will go to a member of staff who's got the mobile phone on them they will come and tell that person someone who's made a complaint about you can you please tone down your behaviour or be quiet, come off Skype, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also trying to work with trying to get some student volunteers involved so in the evenings when there's less library staff rather than obviously that staff member is not going to be able to help a student if they're working on the anonymous uh, reporting system so we're going to try to get some student volunteers and to see if we can get them to do that role. Is that the way uh, you plan it to be or by text or w would it be would it expand to like online? Because there's definitely potential because uh, on the library's website you the way it works, although it's anonymous from the perspective that if I complain about you, you won't find out it was me, but the library will know, obviously they'll know the number that texted yeah. them. So there's obvious, there's ways of getting it potentially on the website, because you have to log in to access your library card on the website, so perhaps adding a function there where you can complain. Um, but for the pilot scheme at least, we're going to just try mobile phones, but because it's just a pilot, we want to take as much feedback as we can from it, and I'm going to gather all that in uh, over summer probably, uh, to try and see if there's any ways it can be improved in the future. Um, and uh, this is your second year in, as an honours, honorary sec, and uh, yeah. how do you feel you've, you've improved in last year? How do I you think, feel you've it, done? yeah, uh, I think I've improved definitely because there's obviously when you first come into office there's an element of, oh, am I doing this right, what's the right procedure here, and then I was the guy who I, who I replaced, he was great, even though he, way back in, he lives in Canada now, I was still Facebook messaging from time to time or email him just to get a little bit, oh, what should I do in this situation? But in the second, second year of the role, it's obviously straight in, I know exactly how to run things. Things like disciplinary panels, uh, I made a lot of changes, not big ones, but just little changes to how the procedure works to simplify it uh, for my second year. Uh, over summer, I put together some how-to guides, both for the panel members, the minute taker, and the accused as well, because quite often I have to email them saying, come to the disciplinary panel, they don't know what's going to happen. So I put together essentially a how-to guide for them, of what they can expect, what they should do at the meetings, when they should turn up, what they should wear, things like that. It's definitely made the process a lot smoother. Okay, so you, you'd say that you kind of went head in and... Yeah, I, yeah. Doing, it, doing it for two years definitely helps. It definitely, you're more settled in the role, so it's easier to just get straight into things. And then the basics of the SRC and disciplinaries, once I've got that down, I can then work on other things like the anonymous reporting system. Focus more of my time on that. Okay. Um, could you uh, give us a brief account um, of what, what you see to be your biggest personal achievement uh, this year? This year, uh, the anonymous reporting system, if that goes through, that was when I was campaigning. The three policies, obviously they all affect students, but the one thing is library, especially the campaigning is done during the second semester, people have got essays, uh, dissertations, exams coming up, things like that. The amount of people that said, oh, this is great. If we can get this in place, this will make the library so much easier to use for everyone. It'll make it much more, obviously, silent in the silent sections. Uh, so if that goes through and works well, then that will definitely be my proudest achievement. Okay. Um, obviously nobody is perfect, so what would you say your biggest failure this year has been? Awareness of my role, essentially. Um, honorary Secretary is not the fanciest title in the world, but it's an important role. Like, I am the convener of the Student Representative Council, which all students can get involved with. Um, trying to make more people aware of my specific role on campus, perhaps is something I should have worked on more. Uh, hopefully that's something I plan on working on in my last few months in office and next year if I'm re-elected as President. <laughs> sneaky, very sneaky. Uh, what can we expect to see from you for the rest of the year? For the rest of the year, the anonymous reporting system will take up a lot of my time. Um, so that I'll be working on along with, we've got our AGM coming up next week, so I've got to work on that. And then if anything's, or anything's proposed to that, we've then got to see how we can implement them, uh, give feedback to students on what happens at the AGM. Uh, and then also, obviously I've got my exams and essays and things come up, and I'm running for president, so I've got that as well. So it's going to be a busy few months for me, definitely. Okay. Um, if you can give one piece of advice to the future honorary sec, um, what would it be? Get to, get, get to know people. Um, it makes your life so much easier if you know the customer safety guys, the bouncers, and their managers, things like that for disciplinaries. If you know the general managers, you can go to them for advice. If you get to know your counsellors, they'll be more likely to volunteer for things you want to help with. Things just essentially get stuck in and speak to as many people as you can. Okay. And uh, what have you learned? 
in this position? There's a, um, DUSA has a lot of influence on campus. Uh, a lot of students aren't aware of how much influence DUSA and the SRC and individual students can have. Um, so it's been interesting to see how much a simple lobbying campaign put forward by DUSA can actually affect students. Uh, what do you think about the general opinion on campus? I think there's a lot of students who aren't aware of what the DUS executive do. I think we as an exec need to do more to get our faces out there, to get our policies out there. We need to promote our successes so that students know how we can influence their life directly, but also our failures so that maybe that'll give them some impetus to run themselves uh, for the S exec or the SRC. Okay, how do you think the, the current and the future exec could increase profile. What kind of specific examples or ways? I'd like to see us uh, keeping students more up to date with what we're up to and what we do. Like I know that SABs, since they sit on various university committees, non-SABs like myself, we sit on things, um, and they're influential. They do things. We actually do make an impact on campus, but we just don't keep students up to date as to what we're doing. I, we should be more proactive in making sure students know how we are affecting their lives rather than just we sit on this committee. It's like, we sit on this committee and we fought for this which will affect you in this way and then students will go, oh right, the exec actually, this VPCC was on this committee and he's going to make this happen. The president was on this committee and he's going to make this happen. Okay. Yeah. And um, just a final uh, final question, what can we ex expect, uh, what, what are you planning to do after the end of this year? I'm running for president this year, uh, so it's the sabbatical position uh, in the executive. Uh, I was sure I wanted to run for a SAB, wasn't quite sure which one to go for, but after looking through all the information about the various roles and speaking to people who have been in the roles in the past and the present, um, I've decided uh, present's the one I want to go for. Uh, it's more involved in the nitty gritty of the student experience and getting students involved. I want to get students more involved with both DUSA and the SRC, but also university. Um, so I think present, going for present it will give me the chance to make that happen. Okay. So if I win that is. Okay, we we'll, we'll wish you best of luck. Thank you. And thank you for talking to no us. No problem.